Last time on Must Be Dice, our small statured heroes investigated a mysterious crash and attempted to defend their village from an airborne attack. The reptile king Moto kidnapped Princess Daffodil and absconded with the Godstone. Will our heroes chase after the kidnappers? Will we ever learn more about the mysterious fire-breathing Dark Lord Moto? Will we discover which of our heroes wakes up first in the morning? Find out this week on Must Be Dice. I'm your Dungeon Master, Daniel Schneider. Welcome to Episode 2 of Super Princess Rescue Quest. Woo! It's good to be back. <laughs> Good to be back in the chair. <laughs> it's a big chair. You're really Take comfortable over there. I you're am. On the edge. I have to be. They normally don't I let us to sit and be comfortable because of what you're doing right now. Yeah. It's yeah. too comfortable. Too sexual, too. Okay. The way I sit. I don't like that. Last time we left you guys on uh, the top of your castle's tower, a uh, flying, sailing battleship had just taken off into the sunrise, absconding with your princess and the uh, magic gem that does some special stuff in your little... I do like Little Valley, the Godstone. I bet, I bet Bobbins is mad as hell about that because he <laughs> loves the forest. Who's Bobbins? I don't know. I went and wrote our names on some cards. Yeah, and they're Except all you facing can't see, away from us. See. Yes. Well, well, I can see them. I can kind of make out yours. It is. So and, write them on both sides. Uh, Next time, I'll have this yeah. solved. <laughs> We're an unlikely trio of heroes at the moment, brought together by circumstance. Well, our characters are brought together because we are best friends. Yes. Yes. Yes, we have a long history of yeah. our friendship, and it's only bloomed yet again since we've uh, re-met after about a decade. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. But how couldn't I be friends with someone who I admire so greatly? Their bravery, their skills at acting. <laughs> you admire Neville Longpants. Of Neville, course. Neville Shortpants is his name. Neville's good at murder, too. So you And, ah, uh, yes, the way you took the life of that uh, gunt was quite impressive. Never, never again. Never again. I feel like you, you will kill again. <laughs> Maybe there's a spot for you in the Royal Guard. In fact, there are many spots <laughs> available in the Royal Guard. Most of them are now dead. That's true. So yeah, on the tower top where you guys are, um, most, all of the guards are frozen in stone in, the, in their last action. You know, many of them swinging a weapon or defending with the shield. But they're, they are stone, and uh, that would be any sort of forces that were going to help you rescue the princess. I'm just a simple halfling scarecrow. I'm not meant to... Yes, you are simple. <laughs> All right, put a, put a cork in it, okay? I'm not meant to be involved in such such battles and... <laughs> Ricks, what's, what the heck is going on here? We must, we must speak with the king. The king... <laughs> We must speak with the king. Does the he king live? Here? The king was described as aged and not Die, deceased. Dying. He yet lives. Indeed, he does. I, for I protect his chamber. You go to the king's chamber. King, I, terrible news. Great to bomb. How's, how's terrible he news. going to react to him as the princess um, is missing? And the king's sleeping when you walk into his chamber. Neville. Come. Go and wake the king and tell him of his daughter's kidnapping. Why would, why would I wake the king? Surely the news from a simpleton. Will be easier oh, to bear. All right, you need to you need then to put a cork in it. So one. Us. Ricks. Bobbins, I'll handle this. Nero Star goes up and then kneels directly next to the king's the king's bedside. Goes, sire, I request you must be, you must awaken, sire. <laughs> uh, yes. There's been an attack on our kingdom. Oh. Your daughter, which you only had when you were 80, was taken. <laughs> Rim Princess Daffodil is, is what? She was taken. There was an attack upon taken, the- Taken, you say? Is your 14-year-old wife okay? <laughs> Has she been taken too? <laughs> we cast her out after the baby was born. There you go. Wise choice. A wise choice. <laughs> <laughs> He's so old. Yes, but he is our he is our king. My daughter. She's gone. Bring Flew her the to coop. Me. Flew the coop with some beddies. Right? We ain't got my, no eyes on her. My liege, I must ask your uh, ask your counsel. There's so few of the royal guard left. What? Where is my guard? Many were frozen to stone at the top of the castle keep. Or no stone. Slayed. Bunch of stone men now. You. Yeah. And they. They can't move? No, as stone does not yeah. move. 
It can only be lifted upon our backs and our bellies while performing our thousands of exercises every Except morning. Except, perhaps, if it is rolled. Indeed. Very wise. Mm -hmm. I must request my liege that request I can- Request grants. Okay, all right. <laughs> Hey, what, were you, check, I guess. what were you going to ask him? Well, I was asking if whether or not I could make the both of you honorary members of the Royal Guard so that way we can go after the princess together. And he has granted my request. Isn't this wonderful news? I guard no one. Both of us. Save myself. Both of us, you and I, Neville. Who would have thought working together in the Royal Guard? Just like the old days. And you, Bobbins. What old days? Now tasked with, with the quest, the greatest quest you could possibly imagine, Finding and rescuing mm. the princess of our fair kingdom. I will go on your quest with you, but not for the princess. Uh, I must save the Earthstone. The Godstone? The Godstone. Indeed. So that my forest, which I love and know like the back of my hand, does not fall into disrepair and darkness. Don't expect Bobbins to do anything noble. That's right. That's true to his character. I'll tell y you that. You're a, a scarecrow. <laughs> the two of you bicker well. <laughs> It's I feel because like of our fast past. friendship is blooming. <laughs> and the things I did to him. Well, yes. Uh, despite the dark history that both of you have chosen not yet to share with me, I feel like we will make a great uh, team going out into the wilds of this uh, adventurous landscape, far beyond the valley walls, deep into enemy territory. Rex, how does one prepare for such a quest? Well, they do it over the course of decades. Training. <laughs> Training. Uh, Leave exercise. Me sorry, me. sorry, my leash. Sorry, my leash. Oh, he's, he's still asleep. Still, he's still here. He's yes. Sleep. You, you. you disrupt my sleep, Second Sword. Well, I mean, maybe you wake up, there's a bit of a problem in the kingdom. Maybe you don't keep sleeping, you know? Oh, it's which, not a bad idea. All right, it's like, we're, we're, should, we're, get, we're gonna know, go. We'll go. Technically, gonna the first go. sword is dead. All right. We're gonna go. We'll be back as soon as possible right. with the princess, Daffodil. Save my princess, second sword. Sleep well, friend, and I close his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. Right. That was really Let's easy. go talk all in right, the hall. Well. Yes, first, now to the armory. We will arm ourselves with wep what weapons remain. And uh, and then that will allow us to go. I need a new battle axe because mine is somewhere down. <laughs> so yeah, y'all y'all are in the armory. We cut there real quick. Yeah. If, you, if you want anything, I'm just gonna or grab something. I'll, I'll restock oh, on air. Okay, that Neville, sounds fun. Neville, take anything you like from this armory. I have yeah. There, there's maces, like gle gleaming uh, weapons. Things are shining. They're perfect perhaps, and beautiful. Perhaps a morning star, a long sword, a maybe star, even a set of sword. twin daggers. What what suits twin your fancy? Twin daggers. Well, I see all these weapons he's describing. They all look so majestic, so cool. But then I see it in the back, glimmering under a faint light. It's a beautiful silver slingshot. Okay. I'm like and like I you know I have my little. It's made of wood. Made sh mm -hmm. Makeshift wood slingshot, but I see this beautiful oh, silver uh, slingshot. You wouldn't want that. That must have been left behind by one of the children who play down here in the armory. <laughs> I mean, I think you could take a few. You could take a few buzzards down with that one. I think. Well, I think. Yeah. You would know best, my young, same-aged friend. <laughs> <laughs> I say perhaps this is more to your liking, and I I hand him a rake. Oh. <laughs> Clearly, you jest. You oh, know what? Bobbins. I'm not going anywhere with this guy. I'm not going anywhere with him, Rex. It's You'll him or me. You'll be dead within hours. You'll be dead because I'll put another, I'll put another ball bearing through you. And I draw my bow and I point it at his I, head. I my, you slingshot. Ah, I draw look it at, at the head. two of you. Yeah. So capable and strong. The way you draw your bow with such expertise, and the way you pull back that child's sling. <laughs> it's like you've done it a million times. You need to apologize. It would be a shame to. Kill someone who is armed only with a toy. Oh, and I lower but my bow. you and your family have no problems with killing anyone, don't you, huh? My family. I have no family. Rex, it's about time you knew. Tell me on the road. <laughs> <laughs> we must go, but first, I will take the ceremonial battle axe of our kingdom. Oh. Cool. What does that look like? It's a beautiful double edged battle axe emblazoned with the, the symbol of our realm. A salamander. <laughs> <laughs> a Laying sal prone on yeah. its back. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> Below Turned it, a turtle, turtle also <laughs> upturned. No wonder the lizards came here. 
In hindsight, yes. it does seem it's very fitting. Very yeah. easy. To we cut. Uh, you're on the road. You know, at kind of in the last at the last farmsteads in the valley before you would climb up and keep heading east. And um, Neville can continue <laughs> their reveal about their backstory. I'm on uh, on Bulbo the donkey. Bulbo. I'm riding Bulbo the donkey, and Rex is kind of walking next to me. And Are you sure you don't want me to carry that? Uh, no, no, no. It's it's ah, nice fine. Okay, and okay. and uh, and Bobbins. Bobbins has kind of you know he's fallen back a little bit behind us, and I say, Rex. Don't know if you can trust this Bobbins character. Okay, he doesn't—he doesn't come from good ilk. I'll tell you that much. Well, well, it isn't one's lineage that determines their character. You should know that. Well, the apple doesn't fall too far from the bag tree, if you know what I mean. I do not. But what 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 insight do you have into this character? I've always found him to be kind of a delightfully mysterious rogue. <laughs> do you recall how my my pop my pop? I do, Cyrus. My pop, Cyrus. Cyrus short pants. Cyrus short pants. How he drowned in a in a bowl of porridge. Porridge, yes. The bowl, the bowl wasn't shallow enough. It was a deep bowl. It was a deep bowl. Yes. My father, he was buying bowls from the uh, the bowl maker, who happened to be father of one Bobbins bag tree. <gasps> and my father, he was guaranteed. He was guaranteed those were That was a Poppins, shallow. Poppins bag tree, the bowl maker <laughs> of our bag village. Tree, the same. He was guaranteed he was buying a shallow bowl. You know, is it, when you're buying a bowl, you want to know, hey, is that bowl shallow? Yes, that question when you're buying the bowl. You, my, can, you can see the bowl. Well, my father, he, my father didn't have depth perception. Okay. And so he didn't know. He had to take the word for it. He says, am I buying a shallow enough bowl? And he buys these bowls from... The glazer from Poppins Bag Tree, and he says that he's a shallow bow, and Poppins he even shows him, yeah, yeah, you're not gonna drown in them, you're not gonna have any issues. Narrow Star listens, but while while listening to Neville Whoa. talk, <laughs> also <laughs> don't, mind the, don't mind the moth that's come here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like it it came out of your <laughs> my cloak. Your yeah. Audio <laughs> listeners, there's a giant moth hovering. <laughs> but while listening, also looks back at at. Bobbins and 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 <laughs> Bobbins. Bobbins is looking directly at the sun. <laughs> just squint. I'm squinting up and I, I like I walk through a spy, spider web. <laughs> <laughs> Sins of the father, Neville. You cannot blame a man for what his father has done. Well, maybe, maybe if Poppins had been honest, not trying to to get a. A gold Watch piece. out for the spiders. I'm trying to get a gold piece, then my old gapper would still be around, now wouldn't he? It's true. I understand how you feel, and you're justified to feel rage and 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 anger and uh, whatever that expression you're making is um, towards the 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 bobbins. Uh, lineage. I thought you were going to tell me about all the times he bull bullied you when you were a child. I walk up next to. Neville, and I say, my father never sold a bad bull in his life. <laughs> you're, a you're, you're a goddamn liar! You're a goddamn liar! Yes, he did! Me. You're a goddamn liar! Yes, he did! He sold the bulls were too deep! The double bulls were too deep! And if he told my father... If old he gaper... Had, he had no depth perception. If your old gaper died in a... My old gaper <laughs> died... ...of pudding... It was, he has no it was one to blame but himself. He has no one to blame but himself. It was oatmeal, and your, my, your old poppins, he my sold poppins, my old gaper, my a poppins. bowl that he knew was too deep. Too deep for the what? two of you. For what? The two of you, don't you see? You have more in common than you know. Both of you love for your parents, admiration for their professions, and eating habits. Don't let this tear you apart. And Find common ground, and, and the two of you will be stronger for my it. My father was one of the greatest bowl makers. In our land, your father fertilized fields by eating shit and spewing it out his mouth upon the dusty was, ground. He, it's, ob it's an obsolete trade now, but he was the best at it. He was the best at it. Until the big trees issue a formal apology to the short pants, we cannot be friends. Whether or not you are friends means only little to me. <laughs> But what's most important is that you're able to work together because we have mm. a princess 
that needs to be rescued. She's innocent of all this. You have my sling. You have my sling, Rex. As long as you live and breathe, you have my sling. I, I'll keep my word to that. And I shall hold you to that, for it is an honorable uh, statement to make. I grunt in approval. And you, what would, would you do without your tracking? How would we even know if we're headed in the right direction? I look straight into the sun again. <laughs> <laughs> what time of day is it? It is the right direction. Ah, uh, very good, see? Do you see how together, the three of us, the only hope the princess has? Do you understand that? I'm watching him. I'm watching him, because he's, I can't trust him. I what can't you, trust him. What are you going to do about it? Very well. I we'll continue. I got nothing. Can, may I we got proceed? Nothing. I got nothing. All right, let's go. Okay, so you guys take the road up out of the valley, uh, you know, up one of the mountain sides. You're out of your protective normal world. This might actually be the furthest Neville's ever been from home. This is the furthest I've <laughs> been away from the place we live. The Golden Valley. The Golden Valley. It's a good name. You've been living here your whole life and you didn't know what it was called. <laughs> <laughs> Very stupid, this one. Very stupid. I think that shows a true uh, sense of uh, kinship with the land. Why bother naming it? It's all yours, for you call it home. Thank you, Rick. Some of us could also uh, do some good if we touch some grass every once in a while. I live in the grass. Oh, That's my whole are... thing. It's my whole thing. You don't even have a halfling hole. I need not for one. You, because you are one. I sleep on the grass, you are which one. makes me... It's because you are one. Both of you carry such admiration for the land. It fills me with joy to see this. This is why I entered the Royal Guard. This is why the, 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 the politics of this land means so much to me. Yes, just as I know the forest like the back of my own hand and can track anything which comes into it, that is comparable to how you stand on a box in a field. I'm glad you agree with me on this one, huh? Bobbins, <laughs> uh -huh. yep. <laughs> both admirable trades. You know, Rex, once we save the princess, we'll ditch this guy and then maybe you and I will go on another adventure together. Perhaps, but I thought you were planning a career on the stage. It's true. It's it shan't true. be happening. Per you know what I'll do? You rescue the princess. I'm sure she'd be very open to hearing you audition for her royal plays. It, Still it would be audition. remarkable. That would be remarkable. And you, Bobbins, mm. maybe some more grass. With any luck. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, uh, you're, you're on this road east, and the road splits uh, northward and southward. Hark. The road splits here, northward what, oh. and southward. Ah, I see, yes. To the south, you know, you're familiar with a small town um, on a lake. To the north, heads up into the mountains. But directly east of you, the direction the ship went, is where uh, wilderness starts. It's, it's almost like a tree line just off the road. And uh, you guys have a decision on which way you're going to go. If you're going to head into the woods. Can eastward. I, is there anything I can do with my woodsman skills to kind of determine a or do I already yeah, know yeah. Like, do I already know anything that, what is the woodsman uh um it's just woodsman I didn't write down what you the, make small figurines <laughs> I will <laughs> make a wood yeah the woods look very dark very dark indeed who knows what dangers lurk behind that that tree line yes Neville you would be frightened wouldn't you but Neville that's the direction that the the flying ship went how else are we supposed to get the princess back if we don't pursue them directly? That's true. You're saying the quickest way to the princess is a direct line. Indeed, I am. Hey, Bobbin's also you know, tracking the ship, knowing it's going eastward, would say, you know, neither of the roads is the right way, but right into the dark, scary forest is the right way to go. My friends. Oh, so we're not friends, but go on. Though it, and I just blast that don't even acknowledge that anything was said. Though it may frighten some of you. Why are you looking at me? Directly? We should, and I don't acknowledge that either. We should press forward through the wood and uh, do away with these roads. The woods is the most direct path behind the ship and our the quarry we seek, the princess, the beautiful princess, who I will one day wed. Oh, development. Neville, what are your thoughts? Though she knoweth it not. Isn't the princess a lesbian? I I that thought... shouldn't be a problem for me. Oh, come on, <laughs> this guy? This guy's you, who you want on this quest, Rex? <laughs> A classic joke. All right, well, I'll follow your lead, Rex. I, no, 
I want to hear what you think. I'm a simple scarecrow. I don't know which way is which, which way is up. When you listen to the bravery in your heart, what does it say, Neville? <sighs> you are more attuned with this world than you think. Does it tell you to poop your pants? Oh, oh, get off it. Well, when I look, I can see that all of the birds are flying out of the forest. Yeah. Like there must be something happening in there that would make them not want to be in there. And I know birds. If there's anything I know, I know birds. And so I say, look, birds heading east to west. That's our path. We're heading there through the forest. Then it is agreed. Two fellows along this path with me both have chosen the most dangerous, but in fact, the most direct route. And I agree. Through the woods we shall go. God damn these roads. <laughs> And let us head into the woods. And we're going. Onward, we we do. don't need roads. Where we're going, it's a forest. So, Bobbins, when you, when you reach the tree line, uh, you remember kind of an ancient tradition, mm. the old ways. <laughs> <laughs> tree. But 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 the old ways say that adventurers are known to cut themselves a holly walking stick at the start of their ramblings. It's a hard wood, a straight wood, um, and it's really good for a nice walking stick. Um, it's awful to handle, like your hands and shit get cut up, but it's, you're almost compelled to do this and to convince, try and convince your friends to make some holly sticks. Neville. Yeah. Go. What? Do you know the old tradition of cutting a holly stick when entering the woods? I don't believe I've ever heard of this tradition, no. It's quite painful, but if we don't do it, uh, I don't see this going our way. Run and fetch us three sticks of holly from that bramble bush over there, with the one with the thorns and the hornet's nest, and bring them back to me. Well, or we shall all be doomed, including your best friend. Weeks? I don't trust him, but I know so little about the forest, so I can only take this at face value, and I would not want anything to happen to Rex. So I go to the, the bush to get these holly sticks. Okay. It's, it's like a little tree. Yeah, a little tree. Um, I'm guessing Bobbins gives you a little hatchet or something to cut the trees down. Yeah, yeah. Hello, little hornets. Just gonna get a little bit of a bit of a stick here. Would you do a skill check for me? Yeah. You're trying to not disturb the hornets while hacking down this tree. It's a six or nine. It doesn't matter. Right? It, yeah. It works. Yeah, it's, you know, Neville's deft. Manages to miss the bees. I look to Pogo and I say, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> And the hornets have, uh, like, like I'm, I'm like, don't mind me, little hornets. I'm just getting them. And I'm cutting the little sticks. And then I see the hornets have, like, made themselves into a smiley face. So I'm like, oh, well, thank you. There. Have a, you have a lovely day now. Thank you for the sticks. <laughs> I the take fuck? the sticks back. What all right, so you all have little holly walking sticks now for your, for your rambling. Neville, you put your best interest aside for the better of us. You very bravely approach that that bush and faced the hornets and brought back the sticks that uh, we needed to get in through this forest. That was very brave of you. Oh, thank you, Rix. It's it's nothing when you speak the old tongue and can talk to animals and other creatures. I can and also, I, I think, talk to animals. So. I give I give uh, Bobbins like a look, like a. <laughs> and Bobbins, you must have known that Neville spoke with an old tongue, which is why you assigned such a task that was otherwise so dangerous. Yes. I knew it. Uh -huh. Wow, the two of you are quite a pair. Yeah, fast friends, all right. <laughs> it, it starts to rain. And um, despite, you know, tree, oh, tree cover, you guys get a little... You can see your tag. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Y'all are starting to get wet and a little miserable. You know, everything's damp, kind um, of gloomy. My ankles are getting wet. My shins are getting wet. Well, this probably has to do with the short pants. That's my name. <laughs> we must press on, though, despite the rain. You come across a rushing river, and there's a little rope bridge across the river. A um, few little planks of wood for stepping stones, but it's one of those that's like, it's like there's, there's three cords, and you kind of walk through the middle one and hold on to the other two. Oh, okay. Uh, uh Beans, uh, you're so light on your feet. Why don't you go ahead and, and show us how the bridge is done? Indeed, I am. And this is a task best suited to me. And I cross the bridge. 
easily. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on a second. Do a, do a skill check. Yeah. <laughs> Just for, for <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, and you have advantage. 19. Uh-oh. Oh, I have advantage? This is okay, six. Okay. Dang so it. that's... Uh, yeah, you dance, you dance across Dang the it. river. All right, Neville, you're next. Come, come. Should be easy, yes? Well, you know how Neville has a problem with liquids because of his father's <laughs> history of mm-hmm. drowning in the porridge bowl, so he's a little bit nervous, but he attempts it. I shake the ropes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I have advantage as well? No. No, I do not. Um, I'm afraid not. I oh, do not make that skill check. <laughs> <laughs> Bobbins, Bobbins is shaking the rope. Uh, you gonna fall? <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? You you slip, but you you're you're kind of you've got your whole body around the the one rope, uh, and you're, you're you're shaking. Help! 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 Bobo! Bobo! Help! Oh, help. Bobo. Bobo. Oh, oh Bobo. The yeah, donkey? Yeah. Bobo, yeah. help. I think I might be a little in over oh, my like head here. Looks like I have to save your ass again. Uh, Rex? Bobbins, I'm worried that with Bobo on my back, the bridge may be too, uh, too weak to carry both of our weights. Toss you're, him into the river. You're going, we can't, we can't afford to lose Bobo. Good point. He carries all of our stuffs. Uh, you're going to have to save Neville. Of course, as always, yet again. Neville, you're doing remarkably well on that bridge. Uh, is there anyone else we could send? I'm afraid that's everyone. Shall we wait until you fall? Neville, or would you would just, you like to beg me to save yeah, you? You slip ask, a little bit, and now you're, you're Neville. Just on ask Bobbins for help, yes. and I'm sure he'd more than be willing to help you. Yes, go ahead, Neville. Ask me for help. Would you come help? Me? What is the magic word, friend? No! Uh, no, no. What is the magic word? I believe it's please, Neville. You. Yes, that's it. Beg tree, if you don't come and help me right now. Yes? There's just one word you have to say? Please. There it is. And I help. <laughs> What do you what do you do to help you? Uh, I, I I deftly, without even using my hands, I just balance with just my feet, and I reach down and pick him up. But then does the bridge give? <laughs> the bridge uh, starts to fray, right at the uh, the edge that um, Recti Narrow Star is at. So the, the ropes all start to come apart. I'm afraid there's no time to waste. No time for dance moves there, Bobbins. <laughs> I, I grab one end of the rope, and then I reach down and I say, Neville, put your pride aside. Let me save you again. Why don't you just do it? Why do you keep talking about and it? And I, grab, I grab Neville by the hair. Oh. I could have easily grabbed ah. the arm or something, but I grab by the hair. Ah. And I, ah. And I pull us to shore. Okay, the thre- the threads are starting to go. Yeah, narrow star. So so uh, one of them pops, uh, like one of the sides is. So now you. I don't know got- if there's enough time for me to make it. Run! I shall hurry. Bobo, you're going to have to go back to the crossroads. Head to the southern town. We'll try and meet up with you later. <laughs> and then so now narrow star, basically. Tries to quickly get across the bridge as fast okay. as possible. Skill check, please. Seventeen, which is so you're supposed to roll under. Yeah. That's too high. <laughs> so you're you're trying to agility, stealth, be be light on your toes and dance across this thing, and it immediately snaps when you set foot on it. Do a brawn check for me. Two. Uh, yes. You are able to grab onto the rope as the bridge snaps. Uh, so it falls into the water and, and starts carrying, while you're holding on to the rope, starts to carry you down the river a little bit. Uh, Rex! Uh, so I'm slowly trying to pull myself, but but against the current, it's very difficult. And I, uh, I need both of your help! Rex, you hit him, you hit him, Bobbins! I, uh, of course I will help. I'm afraid my weight is too much for one of you individually to pull to the other side of the river, but together, 
Both of you could pull me up. Interesting. You heard him, Poppins. Let me... I'll hold on to your legs. You grab him. Yes. What is that magic word again? You could have, you're about to let him die. Do you need my help as much as he <laughs> does? <laughs> <laughs> I will not. I will not. Very well. You're about to let my best mate die. You're about to let him. All you have to do is say please and I'll help. It's Rex, that simple. Are you hearing this? <laughs> <laughs> so Neville grabs the rope by himself. Neville grabs her up by himself. And is, is, is starting to get pulled in, too. Starting to get pulled in, too. Hmm? Simple word. He's struggling. So easy to say. He's struggling. You're kind so of, you're, you're getting pulled along. Getting pulled along with it. All right, at, at the bidding of my beloved companion, Pogo, who's kind of the, you can kind of be the voice of reason sometimes, I, I put my pride aside and I grab the rope at the last second. But, but Bobbins notices that the rope is extremely light. And and pulls it in, uh, pulls in, pulls in Neville, but the, but uh, Narrow Star is is no longer at the end of the rope. Then he a big pat on the back of both of you, <laughs> <laughs> a very wet a wet pat on the back, and goes it goes. Ha, that was a close call. Luckily, I grabbed a branch uh, while I was waiting for the two of you to hang on. <laughs> oh, so he pulls the rope all the way up and there's nothing there. Yeah. Do they start to mourn you for a moment? No. It's just instantaneous <laughs> and then a pat on the back. He was about to let you die back there. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sure he had his reasons. It never would have come to that. Ah, I just grabbed a branch further down the way and just walked back up here. Little more wet for wear, as it were. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> but... He is wet. Typical big tree. Typical. No harm done. Shall we proceed? So another, like, uh, half a mile down the trail, uh, you come back to the same river that you just crossed. What kind of river? The, the river's kind of... <laughs> oh, the okay. river's, it, yeah, it's yeah, just maybe yeah. crossed at a different well, spot. Yeah. <laughs> but this time, um, across the, the river is a very nice bridge um, made of, of mortared stone. There's sides. It's big enough for a wagon to go across. At the far end of the bridge, there's there's kind of a wooden shack um, with a little uh, At cook the opposite end of the on bridge? On the opposite side of the bridge you're on, there's this uh, this shack and there's a little fire, like a cook fire coming out. You kind of, you hear, um, I think it's a whistle. You hear a whistle coming from inside the shack. Hark, what is, Bird song? No, it's not a bird. I'd recognize a bird. That's not a bird. You hear a curse, and then some boom, 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 and then out, um, out of the shack emerges a, a very large, bulbous, green creature. Um, it's a humanoid, uh, long, gross nose, uh, dis scraggly, disgusting beard. Um, he's he's got uh. The tips of his hair are actually bleached, and before you stands a bridge troll. <gasps> Hold, friends. Before us is a great foe, a bridge troll. I've dealt with several in my time. Best be avoided at all costs. Well, but we must cross the bridge. Hmm. You saw you saw how dangerous these rivers can get. It nearly Indeed. swept me away, though it did not. No, it didn't. We this this bridge so well built, so strong. I feel I fear it's our only way to cross. Hmm. Then what is our plan of action? We shall commune we with face this bridge the troll, troll. Head on. I, th I believe that we shall. It appears he's already noticed of us. Hello. <laughs> so across the bridge, you're staring down this bridge troll. What does the bridge troll say when he sees three uh, little little creatures approaching? Hey, what are you doing? We are crossing this bridge. Oh, 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 I, 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 uh, I have a thing for this. Uh, uh, hello, travelers. I am the bridge troll. Well and met. in order to cross my bridge, you'll have to answer my impossible riddles. Impossible mm. riddles? That doesn't... No one has ever defeated them or tried. How often do people come by this way to uh, answer these questions of yours? Not very frequently. When uh, was the last uh, person you had traveled by? So you, 
You're gonna make me say it. You're um Yeah, you're you're my first, but but I've been Ow. saving myself for good travelers. But tell me what, what happens should we fail to answer the riddle? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh yeah. If you fail to answer my riddles, then uh yeah, I think I eat you. Mm. As I feared. I see. And we are the first to come by here? You are the first. So, uh, some sort of an audition, some might say. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> well, no. No, this is the role. This okay, is so, the thing. All right, we, we're getting to character It here. seems even this troll has already surpassed okay. your ambitions. <laughs> oh, come on, get off it, Bobbins. I am just saying, what? just an observation, an we, honest observation. We play the role of travelers. Mm. We are travelers. And yes. you, you are the scary bitch troll, yes? Well, I don't know that I need to be scary, but uh, yes, I am in Trollio. Uh, this is my bridge. You kind of caught me after hours. This is my home bridge. I do have a work bridge a little bit down there. Oh, it's a rope bridge. I'm very proud of it. I built it myself. Mm. Uh, it is my pride and joy, actually. I just. It, Mr. Introlio, you said your name mm -hmm. was? Uh, it, who are we but travelers to tell you how to be a bridge troll? However, seeing as this is your first encounter with travelers of the like, uh, I think that you could present to us with a bit, a bit of a more uh, aggression. More aggression? Yeah. Mm. What? Hey, fuckers! Maybe dial it, dial it back a little. Yeah, dial it back a little bit. It's a little, it's a little much. It's a little much. Dial it, it back. Was a, it, it hurt. It, it felt Maybe wrong. Split the difference. Dial okay. it back a little mm. bit. Ah, you have come across Entrolio's bridge. Excellent. I have Love riddles that. that you must answer, or you will be devoured. That was much better. That was much more that was good. I mean, good. we are on a mission from the king himself, and thus, if even if we don't get the riddles correctly, we will probably have to defeat you in battle and then go on our way regardless. But yes, yes, Rex. But I like this riddles approach. Much better, though. It, it does feel good. It's textured. And I don't think you want to fight me in battle, seeing as how I am an previously unnamed character just introduced and not used in any of the marketing. Enough, troll. We would hear your riddles now. Of course. So these riddles are impossible. No mere mortal will be able to solve them. One. What goes up but never comes down? What goes up but goes never, up comes, but down. never comes down? <laughs> the unbeatable riddles are going to be impossible. What's These those? are, by the way, I googled riddles for kindergartners. Hmm. Goes up but never comes down. I don't deal in uh, children's games like riddling. Well, come on, Bag Tree. You're you're the smartest among us. What's the riddle? Yes. What's the solution here, huh? It's quite simple. A goose. A goose. A goose goes up but never comes down. Indeed. That okay. famous phrase, the goose is up. Well, hang on a tick here. I suppose I've seen a goose take to flight, but I've never seen a goose land upon the ground. As my simple friend says, the answer is a goose. The answer? Well, actually, hold on. I actually have seen a goose come down. He's seen it a landed. goose come down. Does Perhaps water count? Does it landing in water count? Perhaps a trick of the light. I actually don't think so. Well, I've only seen it land in water, so if water doesn't count, there you have it. Troll the next riddle. Yeah, like and Trollio, and Trollio takes out like uh, note cards, like but like <laughs> parchment, you know, like parchment out of his, and he looks and it goes. I, I, uh, it says the answer here is age, but I, 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 I've never seen a goose, so I have I have nothing. It is as we said, a goose. I I think. I think it, I have to give it to you. Yes, yeah, so is it possible that there's more than one answer? I I would assume so. I mean, I was looking at it and I was like, age, yeah. I mean, yeah, it goes up and never comes down, but it seems like there's got to be more. D tell me, did you write these riddles yourself? No, these are, I'm I'm actually a union troll. Yeah, these are given to me uh, by the boys up top. Perhaps All standard. You, perhaps yeah. you were given some bad intel on that. That's not on you. That's, That's not, not on, on you. No, uh, I actually, I have a, a second one here. 
What must be broken before it can be made? Mm, that's a bone. It must be a bone. As you say. I, in my As training, have often broken bones. But when I when I splint them and uh, and eat well and eat hearty, the bone grows back stronger than it was before. Because uh, oftentimes I'll try the same technique to break it once again and it does not break. So the bone is stronger than previously, implying the bone has been made. Indeed. Yes, the bone was not fully formed until it, it had broke, been broken right? and remade. This is our answer, Troll. It is, you'll find it's correct. It says an egg, but I, I mean, it, it, I'm hearing your logic. Look, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing what you're saying. This makes sense to me. I, again, an answer, one answer, an egg, what must be broken before it's made? Like, yeah, I crack the egg and then I cook it, but a bone? A bone. Stronger than an egg. Yes, visit the fighting pits. You'll see. Oh. Oh, you Trollia, you would, you would do wonderfully in the fighting pits, yeah? Indeed, yeah? you would. You would. I'm not a fighter. I'm really? a riddler. Is, well, you oh. have no choice. They'd make a slave of you. Yeah. Is it common for the riddler men to dress in green with the question? Yeah. <laughs> This isn't dress, this is my body. But I'm noticing it is the knot you've tied amongst your tunic is in the shape of a a question question mark. Of a question mark, yes. Yes. Uh, Is that unintentional? Because you don't know what lies underneath. Yes. Is it anything? Or is it smooth and round? It depends on the the audience. Uh, I see. (laughs) Age group, I see. In Trollio, let me ask you this question. Is it customary for all trolls to become these questioners? This is what trolls do. Trolls are supposed to be bridge trolls. My father was a bridge troll. My grandfather was a bridge troll. And they always said on Trollio, you're going to be a bridge troll. So you gained this role through nepotism, you say? I gained this role because it's what I'm supposed to do. In Trollio? Sounds like nepotism. Look, I myself had a father once. You know what his job was? He ate shit out into the fields and then Mm -hmm. he had to... This poop is that shit out and redistribute that poop out into the fields, almost he, like a human fet- a, a happening fertilizer. And our crops were never more golden and, and lush with nutrients, I'll well, tell you, know you that much. His position was rendered obsolete. And so what, what did I do? Well... You took a more, even more insane and no. stupid position? Is that what you did? Old Neville Shortpants, he made his way in the world. He said, I'm going to be a happening scarecrow, you know? It's what I did. You're a scarecrow. I'm a I'm a heffling scarecrow, and I, I said I said I'm gonna be I'm gonna rise above my family station and I'm gonna make something of myself. Oh God! I thought I was at rock bottom. I didn't know it could get worse. <laughs> it can. Oh God! And he stands before you. I have my one gesture. <laughs> what? I have one more riddle, and you won't solve it. And I'll show you I'm a good bridge troll. We will see. And Trollio the bridge troll is a good bridge well, that's, troll. That's not up for question, but go he on. He reaches into his tunic and he pulls out the last unopened like letter of his last question. He goes, I'll show you the last riddle. What's my name? Fuck. Hmm. But, uh, well, well hang on, because we don't know his full name. Well, it could also be when you say the question yourself, you are now referring for your own name. Let me take a crack at this. El Trollio Gutierrez. God! That is correct. Your first name is The? How did you know, Big Tree? I made an educated guess. <laughs> it's written is on it, the side of the bridge. Yes, I was going to say, <laughs> is, it, is it what is stenciled there into the side of the bridge there? I've never gotten to the third question before. I didn't know that's what it was going to be. I thought that was only for uh, the, 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 the gold spinners. Oh, hey. That's why we, we practice, we audition, right? We rehearse. That's why these things are in place, okay? There's, there's, you did nothing wrong, all right? Never even gonna be a bridge troll. And Trollio walks over to the edge of the bridge and, you know, the current's really strong and he's just looking at it and he goes, why even bother anymore? Trollio, may I have your ear for a moment? Yeah, they don't come off. You're gonna have to come over here. No, I mean to speak with it. Oh. Perhaps the reason your riddles were so easy to solve is because your world is so small. I mean, I've never even seen a goose. I've never even heard of breaking bones. How do you do that? Look at my bones. Sturdy. Indeed. <laughs> but perhaps those... not your cartilage? 
Those do appear to be strong bones. <laughs> right there. In the knee. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. That's so <sighs> pleasant when you do that. Woo! Do not weep, poor bridge troll. I feel so like the only thing you're missing is a bit of adventure in your life. Well, I'd never get to go out and adventure. I don't know what to do. All I know is bridge trolling. It's what my family does. It's what they want me to do. I just don't. I have a suggestion. It's all I've ever done. You say it's all you know, but I've seen nothing to suggest that you know how to do this. Why not try something new? Why not take up with us to help save our princess? Why not go on an adventure and make a name for yourself and return to the bridge, learn new riddles on the road, and come back and eat all the people and children, animals that you like, armed with the new knowledge that you will gain on the road with us? That sounds magical. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, what's, uh, uh, what, what are your names? I, is that I a riddle? And Bobbin's bag tree. Correct. <laughs> yes, it is. See how you just did that there? The flourish, the hand? The, yeah. The, you got uh, it. You do, you're doing it. He's uh, a natural showman. Ask me a question about myself. Uh, 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 what, what do they call you? It, Neville Pooper Pants. That's they do call him that. <laughs> yes. Well, but what is your name? Neville Shortpants. Ah, this makes sense from the story earlier when you said Neville Shortpants made a name for himself. Correct. <laughs> and I am Sir Rick D. Narrowstar. Rick D. Narrowstar. He's our leader. Ah. Ah, uh, no. We have no leaders here, for we are all working together for a common, worthy cause. Oh, well, if you don't have a leader, I'll be the leader. Well, we well, don't have a leader. We don't need that. No, he's the no. leader. We, we don't, don't have, have a leader. leader. No, none of us are leaders. Yeah, except for me, the leader. Well, you well, will know because you don't even know the princess. It's a bit of a bit of a high. So there's no way you no could higher. possibly I'm know second, how to lead. I'm second you, leader. So. Yes, no but second we are leader. tied for first. Technically, the leader is the Rick king, and, and we are all working for the king. You are member on the, the road. The king's guard. I am the so. second sword. And then, can I be green leader? Yeah, okay. Why okay. not? Yeah. Do you uh do you need to get anything out of your shack? Yeah. Uh so Antrolio is going to uh what has he's got? He's taken a couple stuff. You know, he's got a couple rations, baby. That's what is what does Antrolio eat? Uh well, people, if he can get his hands on it. But in So the you're meantime, carrying parts of people? No, 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 oh. no, no, no. He actually hasn't even gotten to try people yet. Oh. In a bridge troll society, you get to eat your first person uh, when they answer your riddles incorrectly. That makes uh, sense. But he has never been able to ask people riddles yet. So he survives on a strict vegetarian diet. Okay. Uh, he, uh, he's got rations. It's a lot of like kebabs. Mushrooms. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, or skewers, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bell peppers. Um, he still eats eggs. He's not like a dick about it, you know. Does uh, he have a chicken? He's got a pet chicken. Okay. Named Chicken. Which chicken. I know it seems like a cop out, but I had a pet chicken as a kid and its name was Chicken. And this is how I are the troll. Yeah. 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 I've got uh I've got my trusty staff. Uh yeah. Oh, you, get the mm. oh and you can like flip it around and you can do cool stuff with it. In my head, yeah, but it's actually like in my mind, I'm like spinning it like a like like a color guard. Mm -hmm. But really, Antrolio is just like <clears throat> it's very slow and 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 not good. He's a very See, big, clumsy oaf. You hear some bones popping. Yeah. Okay. Not breaking though. And that is uh, what Antrolio grabs from his uh, little tiny uh, hut which you see inside doesn't have much uh, save for a bed, uh, a fireplace, um, a place to store stuff, uh, a much larger bed with a, a hand carved sign that says chicken live here and uh, a painting of his family. Does the uh, top of the staff have a question mark on it? <laughs> yes, it does. Mm, of course. Yes, it does. Uh, Entrolio, Entrolio has gathered his most precious belongings. Yes. 
and is back up on the bridge with y'all. So tell me about this princess. Old disclosure, she's a bit of a royal woman. She's uh-huh. been taken by some baddies. And okay. uh, we are all bended together to go rescue her, bring her back home. Yeah, yeah. so we can eat her. Ah. No. Well, no, However, no, she must assume herself as, as the heir to the throne. Uh, uh, perhaps she has a friend we can men. eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the lizard men you could eat. There is as well of the, the facet of the god stone, uh, which was also taken along with the princess. Um, and uh, we got to get that back, too. Okay, all right. And what's the plan? We're just going to barge in there, ask him a couple questions, eat a couple people? Well, you, uh, my dear new friend, have stumbled across some of the greatest adventurers I've ever traveled with. Oh, that's good. You've already met them, but what you may have missed is their amazing attributes. Mm. Of course, over here, we have Bobbins, who is the greatest tracker I've ever known. At your service. And of course, the, the, the vehicle which kidnapped them was a black-sailed flying ship that flew in this direction, so Bobbins is tracking it very well. It went that way. And of course, Neville, whose reputation precedes him, uh, the perhaps the most theatrical and acrobatic uh, fellow I've ever knew, and a killer shot with a slingshot. Wow. Murderous rage. Pew. With a child's way, the last part Pew. is true. Yes, you would a toy. Think, you would think. A toy. But in the hands of Neville, it is the most lethal weapon it's, I've ever seen. It's a bit fatal, yeah. Wow. Luck. And, and you, sing your luck. praises. Driven by honor and a sense of duty, uh-huh. will do anything I can to return the princess to where she belongs. I owe my uh, existence to the royal court and the royal family. We're best mates, too. We're also best mates. Yeah. But so and I are put, we. I put my no. arm around the three I, of you. No, I, would say, I would say the three of us are all no, no. the best of mates. Yeah, aren't we? No, no, all the three of us. Not the three yeah. of us. The two of these. Yeah. The two, the two of us. Of, despite their, their, uh, their torrid history, Extremely fast friends. His, you see, her father no. was quite I wrap my, stupid my arms around all three of you, and I crush. It's like crushing, and your faces uh, are like right next to each other. I go, the best of mates. Uh, no, that's not and then I nice. drop you. <laughs> well, well, enough talk. On we go. I think it's time. We've wasted enough of the uh, waking hours. Oh, hold on. Before we go, and I go uh, into the swamp, and I grab a big scoop full of dirt and mud and I bring it back and I plop it down and then I go into my house and I get an extra tunic and I wrap it around it and I go, watch the house and then I leave. Oh, the old, the old mud troll trick. Huh? Yeah, no, wow. one's gonna, no one's gonna try to cross my bridge if they see a fake troll. Never sort of like your job. <laughs> you, you did in fact also say that no one often comes to this bridge at all no no but i mean there's birds here and you don't want them to like get on the they poop everywhere and I take your stuff are you saying that the job of a scarecrow could be done by an inanimate uh, well, object yeah, as probably, easily or better than a job of a scarecrow a requires, it requires a very active mind it seems okay. it doesn't i i don't feel like any of this will truly be of a matter to any of us because that other bridge that we used to get here is completely destroyed by the flood Perhaps now let's proceed the what <laughs> <laughs> and then we walk off. Right, yeah. yeah, y'all are off uh, through the woods to the east. I'd say it's, it's probably a little after midday now. Uh, what order are y'all? So it's, it's a narrow enough trail that it's a single file. I'm probably in the front tracking, yeah, right? Because it's tracking. not really a, it's just we're going through the woods. Right I'm now. definitely There's like, a trail. I'm like okay. way I'm, in yeah. the back because I got uh, my pen and my, my quill. Uh, my quill and ink and, and, a, and a piece of paper, and I'm writing down riddles, and I'm thinking to myself, but it's just scratch. It's yeah, just it's like what just is? Scratch. It's <laughs> just looking at the stuff around. You're like, what is a tree if not yeah. a road? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, because the other riddles were given to you, yes, by your troll union. Inherited, yes. Yeah. Okay, by the union of troll. Yeah, the okay. the troll union, guild. the trolling union. Yeah, yeah. But I'm you're, a, you're I'm teaching yourself boy. to make up some riddles. Oh yeah. Okay, so first, last. I'll go second. Second. Third. All right. So y'all are marching along. Boggins? Mm-hmm. Bobbins. Bobbins. <laughs> the w- people have said both, and yeah. he's acknowledged everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I'll continue to do I so. I was watching off screen, and I heard somebody go, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby works. Bobby too. Boggins. The son of Poppins. Yeah. I got to write down that your dad's name is Poppins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, Bobbins is, is leading scouting ahead. 
and um, you actually you find your feet stuck underneath you. You can't take another step. Help! Help! And oh! You, help! 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 Calm help! Calm yourself! Help. I'm Calm stuck. yourself! What is I'm the stuck. issue? Please help me right now. And you find yourself actually sinking. Okay, hurry! Into the, into the ground hurry, below. Hurry, please now. Maybe help up, me! Up to the knees. Okay. Quick, quick! Neville, we must fetch some sort of vine. Is there anything we well, can we grab? We have our staffs that I made for us. From the, remember the horny? Uh, yes, the staffs. The staffs. Yeah, whatever it is, just do it quickly, please. Can we reach I am over sinking. With the staff? Yes, let's reach over with the staff. Here, hand me yours. Okay, so I pass him my staff. Okay, great. And now he's and now, sinking more. Okay, yeah. yes. All right, we're taking our time. Are you ready? Calm yourself. The more you move, it appears the more you sink. Uh huh. All right. Help! <laughs> All right. All right. Help! 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 He's waving, Help just me! waving faster and faster, Please! faster and faster down. <laughs> And, and Trollio does nothing to help, but writes down what gets smaller as it gets older. Yeah. A All man right. trapped in quicksand or something. Neville, you hold both ends of the stick out. I'll hold one end. You reach to Bobbins, and then you will be the bridge between, and then I will pull you both out. Well, there's only one problem there, there Rix. Help! What's that? We haven't heard the magic word. <laughs> and my mouth sinks below the mug before I can say anything. You just see bubbles denying you the satisfaction. I think that bubble looked a bit like a please. Okay, all right, let's do it. <laughs> does, it does it does a big bubble form, and then it goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear I hear them uh, attempt that they're going to attempt to make a bridge, and I go bridge, and then I immediately <laughs> run under and try to pull. Bobbins out by the just the head, uh -oh. just sheer strength. You run in to try and pick him up while they're doing their stick thing, and you start to sink into the quicksand as well. Ah, uh, yep, 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 um, yep, yep. And do yep. so. Do a brawn check. Help! <laughs> <laughs> All right, what am I rolling? So roll twenty and get under your brawn defense. All right, that should be easy. And that is. <laughs> so you start to lift Bobbins up, but you are sinking at kind of an equal rate. So as you lift him up, you're starting to you go wanna, down a little do bit. Do you want to harmonize really good? Yeah, yeah. Help! 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 You're right, help! I need you to be help! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rex, I don't think we can support the weight of them both. Well, we must. We have no other choice. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, so just we focus on, if we focus on getting out bobbins, then we can we can all three of us work together to get a troll helio. I so, I start thrashing violently. <laughs> right, so I'm holding help me! Help me! Help me! I'm, I'm holding the stick and then I reach for Bobbins. Grab hold! Grab hold! And I'm just uh, yeah! You're holding super strong onto this these sticks. Can you describe I'm sorry, I, I lost how y'all were there doing that. There were two that. sticks. Uh huh. So Neville had one stick holding out towards bobbins that bobbins would mm -hmm. grab and then another stick from the other hand that okay. I could grab so then so then Neville is the middle okay as they're sinking in bobbins is able to grab Neville's staff and um starts to pull Neville a little bit because th them thrashing together starts to to, to pull you in Rix, <laughs> I, can't, I can't hold on Rix. Uh, hold, hold on, on. so hold. I, I need a brawn check from from Rex. Oh, no, no. was that a twenty? That yeah. is a twenty. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, Which is basically a crit fail. It's a crit fail. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're under at this point. I get yeah. <laughs> at this point, all you see is my nose. Your nose is sticking <laughs> up, and they kind of suck down like a, and you don't see them. Neville, we mustn't leave anyone behind. A narrow Star is trying to to hold y'all in, and Narrow Star's foot just gives. <laughs> under a little bit of uh, muck at the end of the trail there. And y'all all go flying up ah! and into the sand, the, the quicksand and start oh. sinking. Neville and Narrowstar, I don't know if you might have some, or any of y'all might have some last thoughts as you think your lives might be ending here. Rex, you're my best mate. You've always been my best mate. Yep. It's, a, it's an honor to die side by side with you. Stave off your fear. Fortify your bravery. We shall find a way out of this, no matter what. <laughs> oh, no. As Neville's sinking, he goes into one of his mind palace moments. 
Where is that? It's, like, it's what happened? Oh, yeah, he used to take, a, yeah. he used to take imaginary breaks. Yeah. Just just him it's just but him we get work. to see it. But, yeah, but we get to see yeah. what it looks like. Now we see Neville. He's back home in... where? What's the word? The Golden oh, Valley. Valley. Neville is back home in the Golden Valley, and he's imagining a scenario where he lives in a beautiful hobbit... <laughs> Neville's back home in the Golden Valley and he's imagining a scenario where he lives in a beautiful halfling hole, just one of the nicest in the entire village. And oh, who comes around the corner? But Rolanda, the most beautiful woman in the village. And oh, oh, someday Rolanda would be his wife. Oh, that would make him so happy. Is there like the seeping in of the realization of death where like, oatmeal starts pouring out of like the cracks <laughs> of well yes yeah actually usually this would be one of his beautiful daydream scenarios he would have it on his one of his fake breaks but because of the situation it is turning dark he's thinking of what happened to his father cypress short pants who was but he was tricked deceived by the the poppins bag tree who sold him a faulty deep bowl and drowned in his oatmeal and this is all washing over neville and he can't believe it's ending like this not like this and his his uh, halfling hole is filling with oatmeal. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's starting to drown in it. Yeah, and then so um, I was gonna, I was thinking quicksand would it's drowning in it a lot like drowning in oatmeal. It's close to a liquid. Yeah, which I'm afraid of. <laughs> what about you? Well, normally in your dream, the beautiful woman would come and make powerful love to someone else in front of you. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Uh, Neville snaps out of it for a moment, but then tries to go back in, and then it's just it's just Neville plowing, <laughs> plowing Rolanda from behind so aggressively, but then looks down and realizes that she's made of porridge. <laughs> it's dark. So your mind palace gets nightmarish uh, as as your vision starts to close in. Yeah, you didn't ask, but Entrolio has the oh. same thing, but with that pile of mud he made back to his set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're under the quicksand, your last breath starting to be the last little bit of oxygen you have, and you're about to open your mouth to um, <laughs> to breathe in some oxygen, which would just be sand Mud. in your death. <laughs> and then you feel yourself falling, nothing between, nothing underneath your feet, and you all fall about <laughs> fi about 15 feet onto the onto the ground, and you're in an underground cavern. How did it? we're alive? Bobbins what? falls, and then Entrolio falls on top of Bobbins. Ooh. And then Neville <laughs> Neville falls on top of Entrolio. And uh, I feel like Narrowstar would do something cool. Lands on his feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. on his feet. Like Iron Man post. Shatters I his ankles. <laughs> I can't believe we're alive. We're alive. We're alive. And in a moment of... of we hug. We hug yeah. in a moment of yeah. non-clarity. Yeah. And then, but then and, we're and quickly Nero, like... Narrowstar oh, goes, oh, that's oh, what oh, I like oh, to oh. see. <laughs> Because you staved off your fear and fortified it, your brave instincts. You're heroes. Yeah, of course you survived. I, I was, delus I was deluded, delusional from Tell me, Neville, when you thought you were going to die, did you have the dream about being cocked again? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a dream I have, okay? All right. I oh, very well. So you all take four damage from the fall. You both take two extra damage from the troll. So did I heal you. after taking nine damage during the fight last episode? Um, no, I guess not. Oh. <laughs> Um, we can talk about how you heal, though. Some people ha have healing spells. If you take, like, a rest, you can heal up. If you take a night and eat a good meal in a good place, you kind of get everything back. You're, you're alive in an underground cavern, and there's a few different paths leading out of this cavern. And you're, you're pretty disoriented, so directions don't really mean anything to you. Is it dark? Um, can we see? It, it is completely dark. There, there might be, like, a little bit of light kind of coming through... Um, from above you, from where the quicksand is. I have a tinderbox. But it's box. not much. I have torches. Would you light a torch? Yeah. Wait, no. Because uh, Antrolio has dark vision. <laughs> we do not. Uh, so I have uh, dark vision. Do I look around? Before we light a torch, do I look around and see anything? It's a pretty empty cavern. You know, there's a few little drips of water coming across. Coming oh. down from stalactites, it's it's rocky and sandy. A little bit of water pooling around, but there's there's two paths leading in one direction out of the cavern and one in in the other. Which is the one that looks less traveled? Um, you don't really see any tracks mm. on the ground. I don't know which one to take then. And Trollio, did you say you have troll night vision? I don't. You don't need to call it troll night vision. You could just I, say night I, vision. I guess you're right. I don't look at you and I say, hey, you got. 
halfling dumb regular vision. But that is what we have. Fuck. And that's yeah. what we call it. Yeah. Um, you know, if only to have regular vision, you know, because mine's got a bit of a deficit. Yeah. So. Apologies, El Trolio, for my racist friend. What do you see? With your yeah, El Trolio, since you're the best tracker we've got with your night vision, what do you see? It's not tracking, it's night vision. No, it's different. Check us, check us with your it's night different. Well, as the leader, and I take a look around, and uh, I see uh, not a lot of much. There's two paths. It looks like there's some water dripping down, pulling up on the floor. Uh, some kind of inexplicable quicksand ceiling. I I I I don't know. I I don't see anything of note. El Trolio, point me in the direction of these paths so that I may smell them. Okay, are you ready? I'll point. Yes. And I do. You, well, you pick up me and point me. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you just point point in the dark. Yeah, I pick him up and I I point him in the direction. All right. What do you smell? Fresh By the air. way, I didn't put him down. I'm holding him. Yeah, do I smell any like air or any or like? I mean, it, it's kind of a dank, wet cavern. In both directions. Um, yeah, but in one direction you do you smell something unfamiliar, really. But it, it maybe it reminds you of like the smell of worms when you're fishing, like you're hooking a fishing line. Mm. Do, do any of you fish? But not for some time. Do you recall the smell of worm? Oh, I know the smell of worm. I know it well. And Trollio puts him down and goes... And then Armando, the actor, uh, gets a little high off of that, apparently. <laughs> Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Uh, I don't know what this nose is made out of, but it is not safe. <laughs> yeah, I smell worms, too. Big worms. Big, Big worms. Big worms? What, what say you, friends? The worm's path is in this direction. The other path, I, I know not what lies at the end. But I promise you worms. Where there are worms, there must be fish. Where there are fish, there must be air. Exactly. Where there is thinking. air, we can find a flying ship that has taken our princess. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. And Trollio is writing this down furiously. <laughs> yeah. The logic good. is, is sound. Stuff. And you start to hear kind of a slick, wet move, movement, like a... Whoa. Some something nasty coming from the direction of the worm. I fear we are not alone. And it it's starting to get louder as if it's approaching you. Maybe I look the down, other path. I look down the path that we hear something <laughs> coming from. Do I see anything? I've got sixty feet of vision. Not quite. It bends real quick. Like you you can see sixty feet, but the the cavern that has the path turns mm -hmm. pretty quickly. I then point. I pick him up again and point him in the direction. Of, of the other path. <laughs> I light, a, I have a tinder box. I would like to get a fire going so the rest of us, or not a fire, but like if there's a. He's got any, a like, torch. El Trolio, may I borrow your torch? El Trolio. You light your tinder box thing just What's to your see. What's uh, And Trolio. And Trolio. And Trolio, like Antonio. Got it. And I thought it was El Tro and Trolio. <laughs> and Trolio. And Trolio. Uh, Pass me your My tinder. original name was supposed to be Antrolio Bridge Darius, but it didn't. No one else seemed to get it. You light your Tinder box uh, and there's a fire and you're like trying to see. And then from above you, my torch comes down and I light it. Perfect. And then I put it in your hand. Very good. Thank you. And Trollio. When the torch lights, the slick, wet, mushy sound gets louder and louder. And it, in the direction of that cavern, you start to see a little bit of uh, dirt and, and dust falling from the, the roof of the cavern. And in a moment, uh, I'd say about 20 worms, purple, blue worms with golden, yellow, gnashy teeth are on the ceiling and the walls and the floor coming out of this cavern right at you guys. Shit. We must, we must flee quickly. Run. Quickly. Run. Make our way with haste as quickly as we can away from the worms. I grab Neville by the wrist and take off down the... I grab Bobbins by the ankle and throw him over my back. So you're carrying both of them now? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm still hanging on. Yeah. I'm sprinting. As the cave fills with light, uh, you see dirt and rocks and things starting to fall from the ceiling of the caverns around you, and that squishy, wet noise starts to get louder. And just around the corner of, of that side of the cave, the cavern fills with uh, 20 of these, these purple, blue, 
worms that are about a foot or two long. They have these scraggly orange sharp teeth um, and they're just biting and they're covering the walls, kind of coming coming at you guys um, very quickly. Turn to you guys and I go, I haven't been in a cave before. Is that normal? Um, cave trolls must be different. Uh, yes. These are subterranean worms and they are different than perhaps the above ground species. We have to run I now. think they're going to kill us. Yeah, we, we should We go. must run. We must run. Run. We must run. <laughs> run. Pick a direction and go. The, uh, the only other direction, uh-huh. go. So we're going to run. So yeah, y'all are, y'all are running. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all run down a cavern. I'm imagining uh, Narrow Star, Neville, Bobbins, and, and Trollio. Yeah. Kind of in that order. Okay. Sprinting down the cave. Worms worms are giving chase and they're they're gaining ground on you. Worms! We would never would have had encountered these worms if it hadn't been for you, Bobbins! What? No, 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 no. Uh, I I I fell in the quicksand. Okay, that was not my fault. I, w- I was trying to try I was trying to get us to where we needed to go. From the back of the line and Trillia goes, You were the only one that fell in the quicksand. Everyone else fell in trying to save you. I was not the only one that fell in the quicksand. Oh, you're supposed to be this expert trekking? You, you can also. Trek some quicksand? That's not in my skill set. No. Y'all are distracted. And you've entered a part of the underground cavern that's actually like a mine. So there's there's wo- mine. there's wooden. <laughs> Do it. A <I'm> mine. <laughs> they <laughs> enter the mine. <laughs> you know, there's wooden beams across the floor and the walls and the ceiling to keep the, you know, the ground at bay. And while y'all are bickering, you don't notice this starting to develop and you in- end up tripping over some of the beams across the floor. Oh. And so y'all are fallen prone. And Trollio passes you. Um, Narrow Star's making it down the cavern further and further away. Oh, look what you did now, we fell now. <laughs> I hope you're happy, you've, you've killed us. <laughs> you have killed us. No, it is not me that has killed us. You, first of all, you were supposed to get me out of the quicksand, which you did not succeed Shut at. Up, the worms and, fact, are and yeah, the worm, the worms are upon you. Oh uh, one of them starts to nip at Neville's uh, little foot. Oh, if only it had been long pants on, but I can't because I'm Neville's short pants. I loose an arrow into it, even though we're bickering. I to help. Okay, we'll start combat at this point. <laughs> Uh, look at that, we've fallen! <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. Oh, fuck. I hope nothing bad comes of this. <laughs> <laughs> Your side has an ish- initiative, y'all go first. Um, yeah. And the worms are at, uh, there's one at your feet, Neville, and you've launched an arrow into yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. All right, so roll roll to attack. That- so 20 plus your bonus. Eight. Yeah, so your, your shot goes wide. Uh, sorry. And you're still prone. I'm, they're uh, still they're on the ground. We may be in, we may be in trouble here, Neville. <laughs> are they able to get the worms off, or how like how dangerous are these worms? Dangerous for sure. Okay. They're attacking. Bobbin's his <laughs> shot missed, but yeah. it's it's kind of y'all's turn, and then then it will be the worms' turn. Y'all all take the same turn. I so yell so. at the prone idiots and go get up and let's go. So do we have an order that we're going in? Or? So in in this game. Essentially, each side has oh, an initiative, okay, okay. so y'all all go and you pick which order you go in, and then the bad guys will go. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna try to like because I have my tumbling skill. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to just like tumble roll out of the way of the worm's path, and okay. then and then do that to like like bounce up <laughs> onto my feet. Right onto skill check. Oh, it's, I didn't make it. <laughs> all right. So you're you're like trying to tuck up into your ball and do your cool roll. Just clo- but you're, you're just yeah. kind of going in a little I, I fail, and so I just close my eyes and go back to the imagining lands <laughs> again. <laughs> All right, so, so these worms are coming after you. Um, Bobbins misses his arrow shot wide. You're kind of rolling around on the ground in a little circle uh, like a roly-poly. Help. So I'm going to use perfect strike. Okay. Which is, I'm going to use with my battle axe um, and... So what what do you want to try and get this worm that's attacking Neville? Okay, um, just roll a text. So roll a twenty. What is that? Oh, that's a nineteen. Nineteen plus my brawn. Yeah. So that's twenty six. Jesus okay. Christ. And what does perfect strike do? It gives me plus half my level, which is three. So okay. I'd be rounded up as two, right? So yeah, you just you decimate the, the the one worm that was attacking Neville. Okay. You're lopping it in two. Yeah, yeah. And um, 
you kind of continue your strike on and spin and hit another one of the worms that's right there. I shout to uh, Antrolio, take them, okay. get them out of here. Uh, I feel like if I carry two people, I mean, I hate to do it, but if I got to carry two people, I think I can carry them, but I think I'm going to be too slow to get out of here. What can yeah, I, can probably. I, can I make time? Can I? Yeah. Yeah. So it, I guess it would be worms turn, right? Okay. Um, uh oh. Have you, and you've snatched them up. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. And Trolio with his moves snatches them both up these bickering children and throws them on their back and just starts sprinting for the exit. Are you two still bickering? This is your fault, big tree. As always, uh, as usual. No, 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 no. This is not my fault. First of all, how would I to know that we'd be <laughs> so, so worm, worms are piling yeah. on Narrow Star. Is Am I able to defend? Can I, point Can I shield? Yeah, you've got your shield. Okay. What is your defense? I your know. armored defense? A 17. Good, Good luck. Good luck. 18. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. 17. All right, so you're, you're fighting off some of these worms, but there's... There's so many of them that they're they're getting through your your defenses. Okay. You take five damage. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I only have but, two left. So you're you're fighting off these worms. You have your shield up. You have your battle axe. You're swiping through a bunch of them. But there's just so many that they make it through your defenses. Mm -hmm. um, you take that five damage. They're like they're, you know, biting your neck, biting your face. One of them's gotten into your into your chain mail and is going yeah. under your, your, neck, your chains. Your like a moth. Do I see this? Like, as he's picked us up, can I see yeah, this I over I feel like he's shoulder? running with y'all and y'all are backwards looking at him. Rex! 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 And, and Trulia, put us down. Put us down. <laughs> he needs our help. Please put us down. Narasar is knocked against one of the pillars from the mine that's kind of holding up the, the wall and holding the dirt back and sees a bunch of clumps of rocks and dirts fall in the path between... Um, Narrow Star and Entrolio that's carrying Neville and Bobbins. Does it look like they're going to make it? No. The worms are coming and overtaking you completely. And Entrolio is not super fast. And they're pretty um, far away from the exit? I mean, they don't see the exit yet. There's just a little bit of light that the troll can see because he's super sensitive to light. <sighs> Who goes next? Is there we still in battle? Who goes next? So that was all the worms. It's, it's, okay. it's y'all's turn. So it would be in, in whatever order y'all pick to work in. Uh-huh. I want to try firing my slingshot at one of the worms. Yeah, do it. So roll, roll and attack. So 20 plus your skill bonus. It's a three plus one. <laughs> you're on my back trying to aim, and you're just getting bumped all around. The, the little rock that you fire bounces off one of the worms and just falls to the ground clumsily. Rex! Rex, the slingshot didn't work! It's just... Rex! He's getting covered in, in worms. I want to turn around and use my vision to see if he's okay. He's not okay. All right, then I dash. I just dash, baby. Is there like a so, dash in here? Yes. When you are in combat, you can do an attack action um, or a stunt. One of the stunts includes running twice in your move. Okay, I could do that, or I could do a sick flip. Do the flip. <laughs> Just from, a standing from being running held, flip? From being held, I, I say, turn do around the flip. and I see if he's going to be okay, and I see that there's like a ton of worms, and I go, ooh, and then flip. All right, roll a, a skill check for me. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, you achieve a standing or a running front yeah. flip. Front tuck. Front holding tuck. us? Yeah, holding you. So I That's turn pretty around, incredible. I see that Rex is just fucked, and then I go, oh, and then flip. No, 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 no. Are you, none of y'all gonna help James? It's not good, like the, it, the worms are coming. Does it look like he's gonna die no matter what? Like, does it, I I look. He's not gonna die no matter what. Y'all might be able to save him. Okay, because I was gonna just put him out of his misery. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, yikes. <laughs> Not out of, I mean, I would have done it out of love, out of respect. He's a main not, character. Not like I want him to die, but You like, can't kill James If he's Willems. gonna get, you know, when like someone's getting eaten by zombies and they just- Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's it, what Ray I was Tree. asking. All right, while Bobbins is thinking, <laughs> Narrow Star, he uses his last bit of strength to try and burst out from the pile of worms that are on top of it. Okay, do a brawn check for me. Yeah. 
You got under yeah. it. Okay. So yeah, you you burst the worms. There there might be the one that's still under your shirt. Yeah, yeah. But all the ones that were kind of covering you, you were able to like you knocked off with your shield and your axe. Okay, so I'm going to take my axe and I want to swing it at the load-bearing thing in the cave. Okay. Next to me. All right. Roll for damage cuz it it's not going to Obviously, if you're aiming at an inanimate thing, Roll you kind of get damage. It. Yeah. So a D10. Well, it's you know old and rotten wood. So the minute like the blade of your axe touches the support, it just collapses. So before I swung the axe, I look at the two of them because they're looking back at me, and I go, "Save the princess," and then I swing. Okay. And I say, Neville, close your eyes. <laughs> oh. Oh no. So then I swing, yeah. The roof spurt falls, and the cavern you're in starts to fill with the dirt and rocks and stuff from above. Well, Neville is seeing this happening to Rex, and he is just... He does not know what is going on at this point. He is just blubbering at this point. He's starting to cry these big, fat, wet tears, and he... Big tree, big tree, go dim it, big tree. What are you doing? You gotta help him. You there's nothing help I can him. do. There's nothing I can do. Rex, Rex. We, there's nothing we can do. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. All I can hear because I'm running and they're on my back. And also, I did that sick flip as they're going, Rex, Rex. <laughs> yeah, come on, mate. <laughs> and so I think in my head, hell yeah, He's Rex. Right. And then I just keep running. We if go we go back, back, we're all dead. No, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. There is, there's no back. It's caving in. Again, up front, there's no going back. There's no going back. <laughs> go to the cave's end. You gotta go back. It's a uh, worm's turn and they're piling on you again. The ones that you, you kind of defeated a bunch, moved them away, but they're they're piling on top of you, knock, knock you back to the ground well, as got, the dirt's falling from the ceiling. He's got two health. He's, he's gonna be health. fine. Two? Eight? Let's see how many worms are fighting me. 14. 17. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? Like the cave is, it's fall. The cave is coming down anyway. Okay. Oh, so so yeah, you're, you're, you're attacked by about eight or nine worms there. Okay. And not, not a single one of them is able to get through your armor. What does happen is the, the ceiling of this mine collapses on top of you, causing about 32 damage. 32 damage? What? That's more than I have. Well, what's much? your health? Uh, my max health is 22. What's your current okay. health, though? Current health is two. Ooh. Is that bad? Should I long rest? Yeah, <laughs> do we have time to go to the hotel? I don't think you can oh, long rest. You've got time to forever rest now, buddy. <laughs> okay. When you receive that much damage, you're dead dead. So this is the last moments of Sir Rek D. Narrowstar as Cave collapses on his head second while fighting sword. off some the second sword the Golden Valley, dies helping his friends escape a uh, collapsing mine. Son of Nickelback Narrow Star. <laughs> <laughs> Rexty! <laughs> the, the cave continues to shake. Things, you know, rocks and, and dirt are falling on your heads. The uh, cave continues to collapse. It's like a series of dominoes, those ties that were holding up the, the mine walls start to fall and collapse in a domino. The mine. The, the mine. <laughs> in the mine. <laughs> Is there any way I could shoot an arrow just to wedge, just for a moment, maybe to halt the collapsing? Just if I get it right in the corner, would it hold it up just long enough that we could get out? Yes. <laughs> shoot you left. Arrow. Shoot the arrow. You left, but you're dead. Okay. Oh my God. And you're a simpleton. Okay, I'm not a simpleton. <laughs> All right. I dash. I'm and gonna. I'm, I'm trying it. What do I need to do here? Um, Is this a skill check or? Yeah, you're trying to do it, so you're acting on the world. So roll a twenty and get under your skill okay. of defense. You're gonna have to read my obituary. Oh, that works. Attributes. That's okay. under. Right on. So what? What do you? What do you imagine this arrow doing? Well, ba like so, every the beams are just falling down mm -hmm. like dominoes, right? So I I get right in the corner. And like pin it back and just pin it for and I know it won't hold it for more okay. than like a but it's second. So, so but it's it's holding but it's keeping it from you know buckling just a for a bit. moment. Okay. I mean, it's not gonna last, but but it gives you all another moment to run. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, what that's the hell else am I gonna that's do? That's successful. Right? I was successful. 
So you're <laughs> still. You. It was a success. You're the still mission running. Was a success. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. We've won. Since the cave collapsed, the worms aren't chasing you anymore. I need you to do a skill check for me. Twenty under your skill. Done. All right, you guys make it out of the cave. Mm. <gasps> I burst through and just like, whoa, and like jump, and you see it. Like I jump forward from like seven different camera angles. <laughs> Slow yeah, motion. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> As the cave like collapses behind me, and I drop them, and I go, oh yeah, I did it, I did it, I saved the day. Did you see that, Rex? And I lower my head and and put my hood up. Because I'm grieving. Neville's just staring, thousand yard stare at the cave, at the rubble there, and just, you know, big tears streaming down his face because his entire world, just, you know, his best friend, the only person that he would consider close to family to him, just died inside this cave. The only person that believed in him just died inside this cave. And then he just feels this overwhelming rage toward Bobbin's bag tree. Bobbin's bag tree, who his father took away Neville's father with his his deep <laughs> bowl. bowl. Really debatable who is at fault today. And Bobbin's bag tree, who was, proclaims to be this expert tracker, but fell into the quicksand and is the reason we fell into here. And it could have just been Neville and Rex on this journey to get, together, but no. Bobbin's bag tree had to be here. And so he just runs and he just, in all his rage and his grief and his his overwhelming emotion, he just tackles Bobbin's bag tree and starts like pummeling, oh raining fists, <laughs> his little his little weak <laughs> fists down on him and as tears are just flooding. Right. Roll a d20, add your brawn bonus. Well, I was just gonna say, I allow it to happen because, <laughs> okay. because it, you're doesn't, grieving. it doesn't hurt. Yeah. It's oh. And I understand that this poor simpleton needs something to it's aim a, his a, grief at. A three plus a two. Okay, so you're, you're just wailing on him yeah. and doing nothing to him, but he, he's letting it, are you like playing along like it hurts? I'm not playing along, but I'm letting it, I'm just letting him. And I, okay. I'm, just, yeah. through tears. I'm just shouting yeah. at him, just you go damn do this. You damn Biggins, you damn Boggins Bay Tree. This is your fault. This is your fault that my best mates did. This was your fault. We were going to be heroes together. And, and you I, ruined it all. You ruined my life again. Damn you, damn you. And I embrace Neville. Oh. In a hug. <laughs> and I only shed a single tear, but he weeps in my arms. <laughs> That's really ugly crying. <laughs> and I kind of pat, pat on the back. <laughs> And when that, uh, when that starts, uh, I, I sort of like look uh, around, but I, I don't stop it. Yeah. But I'm kind of like, what the fuck? But I'm also grieving, so. Yeah, when that starts, I try to lock my car because I think the alarm's going off. <laughs> uh, real quick. It's a very dangerous world. I want Elise to read um, my obituary. Okay. There. It's my attributes. Is this in character? So, uh, it's yeah, my so, attributes as listed by the character, so, I feel like. You know, Neville's composed himself, and um, they've kind of gathered around the three of them, and they've taken a little little rock and they've just kind of carved in Rex initials onto I took a it. big pile of mud and I put a statue on top yeah. of it. But it's and not a uh, statue, it's just a pile of mud with <laughs> Rex written in it. Is he gather here today to mourn the life and legacy of our dear friend, Sirikti Narostar. He was the second sword of the King's Guard and he was the best among us. Rekti will be in the annals of history forever. Remember this day for saving us for his friends. He was ripped. He was <laughs> chiseled. He was perfect. He was luxurious. He was decorated. He was honorable. He was formal. He was lawful. And he was our friend. He was my best mate. And that's really sweet. Amen. So that's the end of episode two of Super Princess Rescue Quest. Thanks y'all for coming. Sorry, James. I didn't buy this costume. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> you can't kill me. You can probably still return it. Goes into this. You better watch. Don't bring a mine down on your head. A mine. A mine. <laughs> a mine. A mine. Yeah, come back uh, next week to see what happens. Uh, if they can, can, if our heroes can continue on to try and save the princess, or if they're just done 
They're gonna sit here and cry for the rest of their lives. Maybe. Yeah, what if it's just a harrowing example of depression and grief? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you.